is the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 8th of January, 2021. It's the birthday of Elvis Presley, Tupelo, Mississippi. First performed when he was 10 years old. Old Shep sang at a school talent contest, came in fifth, winning $5 worth of tickets for the rides at the Mississippi-Alabama Fair. When he was 11, he wanted a bicycle, but his parents couldn't afford one, so his mother Gladys talked him into accepting a guitar instead. It cost $12.95 at the Tupelo Hardware Company. It's the birthday of Stephen Hawking, the physicist born 1942, Oxford, England, came into a family of intellectuals. They had dinner in silence, everyone around the table reading their books. Hawking studied physics and cosmology at Oxford, then went off to Cambridge for his Ph.D., and there he finally began to feel engaged by his coursework. Graduated in 1962, and the next year, when he was 21, he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, the degenerative neurological condition. He had fallen while ice skating and could not get up by himself, and that led him to go into the doctor, who gave Stephen Hawking two to three years to live, but he resolved not to give up. It was on this date, 1877, Crazy Horse, the Lakota Sioux warrior, fought his last battle against the United States Army at Wolf Mountain in Montana. It was about half a year after the Battle of the Little Bighorn. His band of warriors was hungry. They were weakened, and in May, after the battle against General Miles, Crazy Horse led them to Fort Robinson, and they surrendered. It's the birthday of John Neihart, born near Sharpsburg, Illinois, 1881, moved to Nebraska, got interested in Native American history, met a medicine man named Black Elk and interviewed him for a year. Black Elk had been at Little Bighorn and at the Wounded Knee Massacre, and Neihart wrote a book about him called Black Elk Speaks. Here's a poem for today by C.K. Williams, entitled Glass. I'd have thought by now it would have stopped, as anything sooner or later will stop. But still it happens that when I unexpectedly catch sight of myself in a mirror, there's a kind of concussion, a cringe. I look quickly away. Lately, since my father died, and I've come closer to his age, I sometimes see him first and have to focus to find myself. I've thought it's that, my precious singularity being diluted, but it's harsher than that, crueler. The way when I was young, I believed how you looked was supposed to mean something graver, more substantial. I'd gaze at my poor face and think, it's still not there. Apparently, I still do. What isn't there? Beauty? Not likely. Wisdom? Less. Is how we live or try to live supposed to embellish us? All I see is the residue of my other failed faces. But maybe what we're after is just a less abrasive regard. Not, it's still not there, but something like, come in, be still. A poem titled Glass by C.K. Williams from his collected poems, published by Ferris Strauss and Giroux, and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>